Hey guys, out here at Santa Cruz Bike Shop. S. Steve here, by the way, SAMTV. Just picked up the uh, Santa Cruz 5010. Gonna take it out for a spin today on Santa Cruz at the Santos Bike Trails. So I'm uh, gonna head out there right now. See you there. Hey guys, made it out here in Florida. Beautiful, left the cold or uh, Florida here, out here in Santos. And um, this is sort of the backside. Um, he just came from Santos Bike Shops, which is that way. I just picked up the 5010 right there. Looks like it's been used pretty well, but we're gonna get a ride in on that, get you guys a little review on that. It's gonna be a great day hitting the Vortex first. And then uh, there's a bunch of skills areas back all back in here, all along here, and then up and then into the other side. That's where we saw the Bobcat last year, or actually in July, back in that direction. There's a bunch of free ride stuff all back in here, so going to be a fun day. Got some uh, got some goodies today. As you guys might know, I'm fasting. I'm in the middle of a, like a three-week fast, so it's been a little rough riding. Um, but uh, anyway, going to get out there today. See you guys in a minute. Here we are. Santos trails here on the 5010 give this baby a whirl be a little different definitely already feels very different than the ibis rip mill i'm used to this has got 140 mil of travel on the front end i think it's about 140 in the rear end too kind of bouncing. I like it. Ooh, we got a ejector. Oh, yeah. Wow, that uh... <laughs> So all out to our kind of turn this way. So if you go forward straight here and then to the left here, there's a whole kind of skill section over there. We're going to hit that in a little bit. I think it has the longest skinny I've ever seen over there. <laughs> we'll take a look at that in a minute. Actually, maybe we'll play with that first for a second. We'll take a look over here and see how that feels. Let's see. I'm sure that's tied up pretty good. Didn't last long. Well, have a good one, man. All right, you too. Man. Have one. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see. I thought there was a big wooden berm there. Remember those trees being so tight. Whoop! 
We're warming up already. That's awesome. I think I'm gonna ride back and re-ride that section. So I'm on the 5010 here. I will tell you that geometry definitely feels different. I can't can't honestly say like if it's better or not than the Ivis Rip Mount. I do really like the feel. I don't know what it is about the seating, something about the proportion to uh, the, the bars. I don't know what it is. It feels good. Like I like it. All right, we're gonna hit uh, the vortex again. See how that goes. So that's a super fun trail. If I didn't see it before, um, so there, if, I'll show you the clip here, the previous entrance, but there was a ramp that went up and was about level with the uh, second and top rail across and then down. And then now there's this rock garden right here and there used to be a big, like a uh, berm, a big wooden berm, and that's gone. They replaced that with a sand berm to the right and a, a rock garden right in front of your face when you will go in. So we uh, gonna go around the sand berm, I think. See how that feels. That's always fun for me. Sand, not really. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it's, that's pretty cool. Yep. Got another berm come up here, it's the wood berm. It's a little big drop. Berm. Little drop. Little drop. Oh, I hate to lose all that speed there.
Let's flip that pedal. There. Somewhere up here is. Oh, I think it's right up here. Kind of got me. Yeah. It's right up here somewhere. Wrong gear. Got fun. Jump there. You got a little drop coming up here, I think. Maybe. No, it's a little climb. Funny how many of these rocks are all white on the top from my pedal strikes. Great climbing. I think really does well. It's not fun. Ooh, that's fun. Okay, back out. Shed a layer, got some to drink, a little nourishment. So, a little, uh, little skinny section. Let's see what we do here. Oh, we're doing a lot better than we were. Nope. <laughs> well, that's a solid 20 feet there, at least. <sighs> I'd love to be able to do this one right here. Let me try that again. I think that's killing me there. I don't know. Let's see if I can't start off here. Nope. Uh, okay.
Hey guys, Steve here. Hey, I'm just finishing up editing and I'm gonna, just wanted to pop in here and let you guys know, I'm cutting this video in about half. Um, it's gotten a little bit longer uh, and you guys know how it is when you're out riding and you're having a great time, you're in the moment, everything's awesome. But when I go back and edit then, I'm trying to consider you and creating sort of exciting, compelling, content that uh, highlights the best of the ride. So um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm cutting this about half right here, right to the point you just saw, and then I'm gonna pick up next week, you'll see the second half. If you do wanna see sort of an extended, complete ride, um, you guys can head over to Patreon, my Patreon channel, and that's where I post everything's over there, but also I have some extended rides that are not on just the regular YouTube stuff. Um, so if you're like me right now, it's February, it's been raining for like a month, it feels like five months, <laughs> and it's cold, it's, you know, it's been like 35 lately, to, to maybe 40. I, don't, I mean, I'll get out and ride it, but just, just so you guys know, if that's you and you're on a trainer and you're inside, get over to Patreon and get the sort of the extended cuts there, and, um, and enjoy those there for, I think, about three to five bucks a month, so... Anyway, um, if you do that, thank you so much. It really helps support what I'm doing here and sort of my hope and desire to travel more and get to more places for you guys, take you along for the ride and um, explore some great new spaces and new trails. I am headed out in 42 days, not that I'm counting, but in 42 days, I head out to Phoenix, Arizona for a week. So I'll be riding out there in Southern Mountain Park and up north of there in Sonoma, Sedona, Sedona, and um, I'm looking forward to that. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hey, also, before I go, I always forget to mention, I've got a couple of the places you can check out and stay connected if you are interested and you enjoy my videos and sort of my banter, I don't know what to call it. People seem to enjoy my um, colorful explanations sometimes of things. So anyway, uh, I am on uh, Instagram, and you can check me out on Instagram at Stephen Alex MTB, and Stephen's spelled with a P H, so S T E P H E N A L E X M T B. That'll get you over on my Instagram, and also I'm on Facebook, and that uh, you just look for you know Facebook.com forward slash S A M T B. You should be able to find me. You should also be able to find links below here if you're on your computer or cell phone or whatever, you can click that little that little tiny arrow right below the video, right? It should be like right maybe down here or here, depending if this thing gets flipped or not. And there's a little arrow, you click that and it expands below. And then I should have links below there for you guys. So you can check things out there as well. All those links should be there together. Um, and that's it. Thank you guys again. Uh, get out there. I know it's cold if you're in most of the country right now, um, except for maybe that really, really, really special, like way south, way western U.S. and maybe the southern part of Florida. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.